Well, Kelly's Court is back in session on the docket today. Bloodshed at the strip club. A Florida man now suing a topless bar called, no joke, the booby trap. Never has a pole dance been so dangerous. Apparently a stripper, just doing her job, lost her stiletto pump during a performance. Bang! Up to the ceiling it went. The shoe flying off and shattering the mirrored ceiling above. Then raining down upon the guy. Shards of glass and the stiletto slicing the skin above his eyebrow and causing the man chronic pain. He says he now suffers chronic headaches and nosebleeds and now he wants thousands of dollars claiming the stripper performed her pole dance negligently. <laughs> you can't make it up. So does he actually have a case? Let's ask our panel. Former prosecutor, now defense attorney, John Spilbor, and former prosecutor, now host of the lineup on Fox, Kimberly Guilfoyle. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. I love it. <laughs> uh, it's like a karma-esque kind of thing. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. All right, Kimberly. So, uh, no, let me start with you, Jonna, because mm -hmm. you actually think the guy has a case. Tell us why. Pay the man. This is a simple case of negligence. Look, when you go to a strip club, you might assume the risk of getting a high heel in your groin, but you don't assume the risk of having the ceiling rain down on you. The guy got injured. He's got damages. Write the check. How about it, Kimberly? How do they get this, out of, yeah. their, of their stripper's <laughs> negligent dancing? You know what? This guy, let me tell you something. He didn't mind his front row seat, okay, checking the <laughs> ladies out. And maybe if he had tipped them a couple more bucks, because after all, they have 99-cent beers there on Monday night, <laughs> he might might not have been injured. You're going to the booby trap. Figure it out, people. Anything goes there. A stiletto, a thong, a bra, whatever. You might get injured there. This guy's nothing but a crybaby. Yeah. He's like a little bedwetter guy. He's got a little cut <laughs> over his eye. Oh, my feelings are hurt. I have a headache and I've got nosebleeds. Right. Give me a break. Settle it for a couple little lap dances, free admission, <laughs> and a couple burgers. Maybe That's a lap dance without the stiletto. John, come <laughs> yeah. on. This this, this sounds like somebody's trying to get something for nothing. He has a cut above his eye, yeah. mm -hmm. and he wants 15 grand from this place that can only charge 99 cents for their beers. They can't be rolling in the dough there at the booby trap. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. But you know what? Listen, unless he signed a waiver, what if these guys signed a waiver and go, okay, look, the booby trap's not going to be responsible for damages caused by high heels, silicone, or broken glass. Then maybe he doesn't have a shot. You know, granted, 15 grand for an eyebrow, Nick. All right. Yeah. Unless, what if his wife, like, beat him up when he got home. We then don't. is said man so married? So he had emotional injuries. We don't know. Right, we, don't, we don't know whether said plaintiff is married. But Kimberly, what do you make? And you look at the damage claim and they talk about he, it, it has resulted in pain, suffering, disability, disfigurement, mental anguish, yeah. loss of capacity for the enjoyment of life. And yeah. on he goes from there. I mean, give me is a he break. Kidding he, me? Wants, he wants like $14,000 for what? I mean, if they pay him this money, can you imagine what it'll do to the community and poor guys out there that want to go to the booby trap? It'll shut the place down. <laughs> right. Does he have any thought or feeling for anyone but himself? Right. <laughs> Charles. I mean, come on. He's 35 years old. I'll, I'll in, in, out of respect for the man, I'll just give you his first name, Charles, because you can Google it if you're interested. <laughs> but wait, Jonna, he is not the only one to bring such a claim. There was a claim in New York City brought against the hot lap dance club uh, where something the, the dancer there swung around the heel of her shoe hit the guy in the eye and that lawsuit as far as we know is still going hasn't been thrown out yeah, yeah see, now that's a jury. little different. That's a little different. You might assume the risk of that. That's part and parcel of the dance. And Kimberly, you did a great little imitation there. I wish I could do <laughs> I'm it. I'm looking for a job. <laughs> you don't need a job. So that guy, you know, hey, that's an assumption of the risk defense for that guy. But this guy. Write the check. How about that, Kimberly? I'll give you the last word because her point is, you know, you, you, how, how is this guy assuming the risk of the ceiling breaking after the stiletto goes flying and raining down on Megan, him? I know you don't know about such things, but let me tell you, <laughs> at these places, anything goes. You got the mirrors, you got whips, you got chains, you got stilettos, you got oh. plastic heels. Oh. It's all of the above. If you're going to go to a place like that, you might get a little recreational injury. So like I say, dead serious, settle the case, give him a couple free passes for him and his buddies and uh, call it an eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> Some gals like that. John, I can't really good debate. Thanks so much. One final word for our viewers. This guy should get his medical bills paid and no more. He knew the dangers of big, potentially dangerous objects <laughs> coming at him in this place, and he didn't have any problem with it. As for his recurring headaches and nosebleeds, cry me a river. That was the most titillating Kelly's Court that I have ever heard. And I'm torn. I think we need an investigation. I say road trip. Let's go down to the booby trap. Check it out ourselves. Fort Lauderdale, here we come. Apparently it's a national chain. Check your local listings. Speaking of chains and whips.